Hello everyone! In this tutorial we're going to learn some basic Wavy navigation. We're going to learn how to generate from one prompt into multiple image models. And using the image we generated, we're going to check out how to generate from multiple video models. Let's do that! When you first start with Weavy, you're going to see a gallery over here at the top. These are all workflows for you to examine, educate from, duplicate and use it as your own. So these are workflows, for example, over here you could see tutorials. Creating a new file over here at the top would generate a new empty canvas. Let's start by dragging out a prompt node from the top left menu and then dragging out any of the image AI models available. So let's drag out Imagine, maybe Flex Pro Ultra, etc. We could connect one prompt to an entire array of AI models and test all out. Skipping ahead, I've arranged an entire array of um, image models. GPT, Flux, Minimax, Luma, Recraft, Google Imagine, Ideogram, Stable Diffusion and DALI all connected to the same prompt to generate uh, images from. Actually, this is how I start any project. I'm checking out different AI models and finding out which one would be best for my uh, purpose. I think I've went with this one in this project and then skipped ahead, connecting it as an initial image to another array of video models. So Runway, Skyreels, Minimax, Kling, Pixaverse and Luma. It's part of our mission to implement any new AI model available to Weavy. So you'll have the newest models to check and work with. Okay, this was fun. Let's check out some basic functionalities. So clicking on any of the models would open up a um, properties panel here on the right. Aspect ratio, prompt strength, etc, etc. Each model comes with its own properties, so please pay attention to the right-hand panel. And let's quickly go over the menu on the left side. So the first one is the toolbox, um, prompt, import, export, basic tools for you to examine. Compositor, we will talk about uh, in the next videos. Painter cropping, text tools and helpers. Let's go to the next one. Entire array of image models underneath it. Graphic vectors, editing image functionalities, video models, the entire array, generating from video, enhancing. We have Topaz, of course. Next one would be 3D models. And the one beneath it is my models that I have saved for myself. Over here at the bottom, we can see my uh, gallery of images and videos generated in this workflow. Hovering above any image or video and clicking spacebar would scale it up for us to examine it properly. Always name your file over here. You can share it with anyone you like by clicking copy link or adding the email. Oh, last thing, don't forget to right click on any image and set as cover so you'd have a nice thumbnail in your homepage. I strongly recommend watching the next tutorial. It's about the compositor node which enables you to manually control the composition in the frame, which is super important for me to get exactly where I want. So I'll see you in the next tutorial.